Wilson is the 2000 U.S. Open champion. I'm not sure about the quality of play. I mean, he's obviously playing a lot. My game is just prepare yourself that I'm not quite as good as I used to be. Um, but it's, but you it's can still serve. Okay, but <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm, if it's going to go in or not. Everyone knows Marat, uh, and, and people in LA have heard of my name. So, um, you know, it doesn't have the star power. It's a tough week. You know, I was telling, talking to Bob earlier. I mean, it's a, early for for guys to come over from Europe. You know, Andy's a little fried right now. You know, <clears throat> uh, would you love Nadal and Roger to come here? But it's U.S. Open ways away, so it's it's a tricky time. But I, I love playing here. I just hope I can play well. I don't play at this pace very often with someone like Marat. Um, so I'm just want to get off to a good start and hopefully play well. But you know, it's it's hopefully it'll be a good crowd. I'm going to play Andre a little a couple times, uh, or at least in Macau this year and maybe next year. So that that'll, that'll be fun to play Andre. Um, I'm going to play a couple exhibitions here and there, play in maybe a senior tour event here and there. Um, just every three or four months I like to do something, you know, it, it keeps me sort of in shape, get on, get on the treadmill. The tricky part for me now is that, you know, I still, the way I play and the way I serve in volley, it's, it's hard on my body, you know, it takes a lot of strain on the back and the hips and I just feeling like this year has been a year of, I'm just not, I'm not quite as explosive. I was happy with when I stopped at 14. It wasn't a number for me. It wasn't like I, I wanted Emerson's record. I got it. I wanted to win a, a, one more and went through two years of, of not winning a tournament and then won the U.S. Open and I was cooked. It wasn't like, why at 14 I'm content. It was emotion, you know, emotionally I was, I was spent. I, I sort of, I didn't have much left in the tank. Um, and I, when I was done, I felt like I put up some numbers that nobody would touch. Well, you know, a little did I know, you know, Roger's going to come along and, and surpass me in eight years. Um, and I, he saw 14 as his goal. And now he's got 15 and he's going to go on and win some more. Being there for four hours was great tennis. And I think we all felt bad for Andy because he played so well and had his chance. Um, but, you know, Roger just seems to have a little bit at the end there. He's just so stable and, and he's obviously a great player. And to be up there with Rod and Bjorn and Santana was, was pretty cool for me. Um, and the future of sports very bright. And you look at Roddick, I think he, he gained a lot of fans. He um, gained a lot of confidence. Um, and we all felt for him in that roll box. I mean, we're just, you know, he was distraught after the loss. But Roger winning 15. He's going to go on and win some more here, but the future of the sport's very healthy. Um, and with with Andy, sort of with his performance, I mean, he was was worthy of being on that trophy. I think Nadal concerns Roger. I think he's like, well, I can't beat this kid. I just think he's 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 sort of met his match. Um, some of these matches, that the one guy that's willing to to mentally be strong and be able to move that well and to sort of hang with Rogers. I think it sort of freaked Roger out a little bit in Australia. Just sort of like, wow, this maybe this kid's better than me. Um, and it'd be interesting, you know, to see these guys play again. There's, there's not a whole lot that really separates great players. A few points here and there. Um, you know, I would have loved to have competed against Roger in my prime. I mean, I think every every great player that retires, you know, look at Jordan, probably thinks, oh, I'd love to play LeBron or Kobe or whatever, but. You know, that's unfortunate in sport, you just sort of, sort of move on. Um, I just feel like each generation has their player. You know, you had Labor in the 60s, you had you know, Borg in the 70s and 80s, you had me in the 90s, Rogers today. And it's just hard to say there's one guy. I think if you look at the numbers, you look at Roger. You look at what Labor did, you know, that's never going to be done before, but he did at a time where the competition isn't like it is today. 
um, you got Gonzalez, you got you know Jack Kramer. You have so many different guys in different generations. It's hard to it's hard to say. Lavery didn't play majors for six years. He could have had 25. But I just feel like there's um, a player or two for each generation, and I'm just happy that my I came out of my generation as as the guy. But I, I love playing here. Boris played here. Stefan played here. I mean, it's a great tournament. It's a great city. Um, it's not a vacation, but you know, there's a lot of nice things to do in LA. Yeah. Play a little tennis at a great court. I mean, it's I loved it. over my career, but obviously uh, I can rely on my parents, Sam and Georgia, brother Gus, Stella and Marion, um, they've always been there for me, and, and now my life, my beautiful wife Bridget, <laughs> my two boys, are you listening to Hating tonight? <laughs> Brian and Christian, uh, you made retirement, a lot of fun, so I got a good life. Thank <laughs> you.